upon a time, there was a wonderful mansion called Wuthering Heights. The family was happy. Mr. and Mrs. Earnshaw, Catherine, and Henley. I took care of the children, bathed them, cared for them, and taught them literature. However, things were not to last. Mr. Earnshaw was infamous for his business trips, and on his return that fateful day, Heathcliff arrived. Hello, family. Look at this orphan boy I found. Play with it. <laughs> Let's drown this gypsy in the lake. No, why would we do that? I'm just, just trying to be here, okay? Just chill. Just chill. Henley, the little brat that he was, did not get along with poor Heathcliff. Perhaps he was intimidated, perhaps we, he was just a little sociopath all along. Regardless, Mr. Earnshaw was now to have fighting children disturbing him. Finding Heathcliff the better child, for reasons unbeknownst to me, Henley was sent away to college. Finally, I thought we could be happy. This was, of course, not to be. I'll be back. Bye. Have fun. <laughs> Without Henley, the family was finally at peace. Kathy and Heathcliff's relationship bloomed. I thought, perhaps a bit too much for siblings, but I digress. They certainly were on the moors quite often. However, things were about to change again. By Grandpa's <laughs> hammer, avenge me, child. Dad, for what? You died of natural causes. Like, I, I don't know what you want. Don't call me. Dad. Uh. <laughs> now that Dad's dead, I'm in charge. Get out to the fields. Oh, and this is my wife, Frances. Henley was an abusive little <laughs> master of the house. Heathcliff was reduced to nothing, no longer an herb shop, only a field hand. However, despite this, Kathy and Heathcliff remained close. Hey, Heathcliff, let's go make fun of the neighbors. I, I gotta fix this fence, though. No, you don't. Let's go. Henley's gonna get mad at me. No, it's fine. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. God, Angel Lynn's such a little bitch. I know. Look at him. They're just... Drinking their tea and thinking they're all books. fancy. <laughs> oh, this tea is so exquisite. Oh, yes. Earl Grey, what a day. Oh, sister. Gosh, I can't believe it. They're just crazy. Oh. Oh, oh, oh okay. We're too good. We're too, huh? They're too, too good, good for, us? for us. What do you, th who do you think you are? <laughs> you okay? Oh, man, are you all right? Hey, what? hey, but it's a it's quiet, cool. boy. But tell your master what happened. Kathy stayed at Edgar's lavish abode for several months. Transformed from a free-spirited, adventurous young girl, Kathy became refined, ladylike, honestly a true shell of her former self. Heathcliff was hopeless, sad, and fearful he would never again see his beloved Kathy. Kathy did eventually return, but the spark had dwindled. Kathy and Heathcliff were no more. One day, Kathy invited Edgar to tea. Oh, hey, would you look at this? Looks like we're having a party, huh? Looks like a great time. Oh, you guys had applesauce? It's not very good. He's like, of course it's not good to you. It's a fine boy. Your palate's not good. Oh. oh, it burns! Oh, God! Oh, God, it burns! Don't be such a baby! <laughs> such a little brat. As you can see, things were tense. Things got worse when Francis died in childbirth. Finley began drinking himself into oblivion, not taking great care of his new child, Harriton. Damn you, Harriton! If 
no one had seen him catch the baby, Heathcliff would have almost certainly bashed the baby's head in. But unfortunately for him, Hareton remained safe. In the meantime, Kathy and Edgar's relationship continued to develop. Kathy, will you marry me? Um, I guess so. Yeah, okay. Yeah, sure. Sure. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Once Heathcliff realized Kathy would marry Edgar, he decided he could no longer stay at Wuthering Heights and ran away. Kathy and Edgar did get married, and Kathy at some point did get pregnant. I, of course, was not privy to this. Some time passed, and they were happy. Henley, however, descended into alcoholism. You better be dead, you drunk! None of this! This is the devil's food! Heathcliff, on the other hand, was somehow becoming increasingly prosperous in a way that was mysterious and unclear. Finally ready to return, Heathcliff stopped at Wuthering Heights. Hey, Henley, what's up, bro? It's been a while. How you been? God, you've been hitting that liquor pretty hard, huh, there? How you doing on funds? Yeah? Yeah, dude, the stock market, it's been so rough on me. I get it. Why don't you take that? Go have some fun. I'll see you later, bud. Heathcliff was not simply satisfied with simply destroying Henley, although it did give him some sense of satisfaction. In an effort to steal away Wuthering Heights, his once home, Heathcliff loaned thousands of dollars to Henley. Dollars that not only murdered Henley, but ensured Heathcliff's inheritance of Wuthering Heights. Secure in his victory, Heathcliff went to the Grange. Heathcliff! What are you up? doing here? Oh. I'm so excited to see you! Yeah, I just decided to come back for a little bit and see what's going Have on. Have some tea! Here! Thank you very much. And I. He was just trying to talk yeah. to me, you know, and I and I said, "Bitch!" Oh, oh, bitch. I said, oh, what the hell are you doing here, boy?" Hey, not too much, man. What's going on? <laughs> Isabella, entranced with the new, improved Heathcliff, soon joined him at Wuthering Heights. Yeah, but this one time I was sailing through. The oh, field. Heathcliff! Your muscles, you're so strong. Why don't you marry me? In goodness, what are you doing here? Oh! He's clever, oh my goodness! Oh, he's clever. In the meantime, Kathy was distraught when she learned that Isabella had run away with her former love. Fraught with disappointment and perhaps a touch of tuberculosis, Kathy slowly declined. Hey, what's up with Kathy? She's dying. She's dying. Kathy, <coughs> ah! no! Yeah. Alright, go ahead, whatever you're Never should have married you. This baby's gonna be the death of me. What do you mean, sweet? I'm dying. Here, take this. <sighs> my one true love. I, 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 I don't know what to do. What do I do? This cruel world is taking her from me. She's, she's my wife. You didn't even care. You didn't even care. With Catherine dead, Heathcliff became increasingly violent towards Isabella, his false love. Something horrible's happened, Isabella. Kathy's dead. You killed Kathy! I didn't kill her. How could you even say that? How I didn't. You didn't, you fiend! Don't you say that to me! Ah! How dare you! troubles and soon ran away to London. Little did she know her connection with Heathcliff was not over.
After the birth of Edgar and Catherine's child, named Catherine, the death of Catherine Sr., and the flea of a pregnant Isabella, thirteen years passed happily and uneventfully in our corner of the English countryside. Heathcliff had the decency to bother nobody but Henley, whose funds and life he slowly sucked away until Henley died and Heathcliff gained ownership of Wuthering Heights due to the gambling debts he was owed. Kathy grew up the happiest child ever to be, never knowing of her cousin's existence in London until Isabella died. Edgar tried to take the young, sickly, sniveling Linton under his wing, but that was when Heathcliff emerged from dormancy. Kathy, this is your cousin. Linton, new friend. Oh. <coughs> Can't believe this is happening. Hey, Linton, I'm your father. Nice to meet you, okay? This is my kid, I'm gonna take him with me. Kathy brushed off the brief encounter until a few years later, when she stumbled upon Wuthering Heights and made the acquaintance of Harriton. Though he was the son of Henley and the rightful owner of the Heights, Heathcliff treated him like a common servant. Hello there. What is this place? Wuthering Heights. Wow, I've never been to a new place before. Um, Kathy, where were you? Oh. This is Wuthering Heights. I've never been here before. My father owns a manor house up the road. Tell your father that this is a very nice manor house, too. Um, yeah, that's... that's not the son. He's actually your cousin, Harrison. Harrison? I have a cousin? Yeah. A long story, you know. We'll tell you later. Okay. But we should leave now. Right now? What? Yeah. Yeah. exchanging love notes in secret, which I put a stop to. Unfortunately, this made things even worse in the long run. Kathy! You horrible little brat! Ever since you cruelly separated to my Linton, he has been on the brink of death with heartbreak! You're coming to see him right now! Come here! Brings me happiness to know that you'll you'll be married in my last moments. Oh, fuck. She was not happy. She did her best to care for her new husband, but ultimately just watched him die. She was then forced to reside with the people who had left her to such a fate. Do, do, do you think you could uh, maybe read aloud? I have never been more offended in my life. Uneducated swine like you have no right to talk to me. I hate you. Tensions remained high at Wuthering Heights for some time. Kathy's betrayal at being left to tend Linton alone made her bitter. Ayrton's spurned attempt at friendship made him bitter, and Heathcliff was an oppressive force over the whole house. Things only began to change as Heathcliff's temperament did, and he spent much more time on the moors than he did abusing the members of the house. <laughs> Kathy! Kathy, why? Why did you have to just go? Huh? Why? Yeah. Kill her. You're a vicious killer. Mm -hmm. did, did, 
do you do you think that maybe if it, if it's all right by you, if it wouldn't bother you, and maybe um, I could read aloud. What? I could teach you to read too if you want. So you want to be friends now? Basically, yeah. Okay. Thing to happen to these moors was Heathcliff's death. Here are Tinny Cathy are running the manor, residing at the Grange, and we all lived happily ever after.